Have you ever met him, Miss Hannah? No, but Has I... he ever spoken to you? The Bible. I mean in person. Has he ever spoken to you in person, Miss Hannah? No. Has anyone you've ever known, ever seen or heard him, I would rather believe in a creator who would die for his creation than have his creation die for him. My son, I am not your son, Satan. Can our Earth possibly afford to allow anyone to follow a god like this so blindly? That is what her god wants from all of us. Is that right? Yes. I'm sorry, I can't hear you. Yes. I call to the stand, Jesus Christ. Objection. On what grounds? She's grandstanding. The prosecution knows that the witness cannot possibly come to the stand. Counselor, you're the one that wanted this trial to be about him. Objection withdrawn. No, no. Don't withdraw. Admit. Admit that he can't be put on trial. Because he's intangible, impotent, obviously powerless. Look at all the tragedies and horrors here on Earth. What about us on Earth now? If this trial is going to be about him, where is he? Where is this God that demands such obedience? Bitch. Son of God! Come defend yourself! Show us some of your powers from your kingdom. Show us some miracles now! Make us believers or concede defeat. Your God is either a coward fraud, or maybe just a good bedtime story.
I shall be terrible unto them. Thus says the Lord against the accursed generation. I shall be terrible unto them. For they push out their hand against my speech and treat my prophets as though they were bubbling mouthpieces which speak lies, knowing nothing, casting them off without cause. Therefore, I shall not cease from causing my servants to prophesy, rising up early and sending them. I have put my words in their mouths. I have opened their ears so they may hear, for I shall cause my words to be a terror unto all peoples, for it is my spirit which has come to reside in my witnesses. Says the great Yahuwah, the word of God, who speaks, Yahushua, and because of all these blasphemies, by which these arrogant people have blasphemed my word, and my glory, without ceasing, shall they be made to suffer much wailing and multitude of tears. Tears shall be for their drink when they thirst in the morning. They shall have sorrow for their meals at noontime, and pain shall be for their bed at night. For all their disobedience is made plain. It is always before my face, shown up in their rebellion. Lo, they shall soon come to abhor all their adulteries against me, every last one of them, says the Lord. Yet first, the falling away, lo, even some shall run from me, many shall depart from me. And when they tire, when they finally fall down and repent, then shall they turn and run from all their perverse transgressions which they had committed at noontime. And when they realize that indeed it was I who had pursued them, and it was I who had brought them back, then oh how they shall love my Sabbath 
end of my holidays. This day shall cherish. In those days, ten men from every language of the nations shall lay hold on one Jew, saying, Let us go with you, for we have heard that God is with you. Fear not, my servants, nor be swallowed up over much sorrow, because of all these captive children. For my mercy shall not altogether depart from them, and though they remain prisoners in this world, they are greatly beloved of the Lamb. For if I do not correct them for their disobedience, truly I say to you, they may never enter into my rest. Therefore have peace, O sons of service, for my own power has come to reside in you, and shall cause you to prophesy. And so you are suddenly weakened, Nothing is avery, for you have submitted yourself to my power, having made room for the Holy One to come in, and He shall surely come to dwell within you fully in due season. the power of my presence has always caused my prophets to be set apart in the holy, to feel as though they would wither, as though they would die. For indeed, it is a death of another kind.